Hi, my name is Dennis McElroy, and I work for Granite Rock Company. So this project has been in the works for about two and a half years now. Caltrans District 4 has spent a lot of time and energy working with the UCPRC, that's UC Davis Pavement Research Center, and other industry members to find new creative ways to recycle pavements, and this project was identified as one of those potential candidates. Site conditions allowed for us to utilize a, a technology called cold in place recycling, and we're using a single unit working recycling machine that allows us to process the asphalt in place without hauling any material whatsoever on the job. By doing that, we're able to reduce truck trips on the project, we're able to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and we're able to reuse all that same material to rebuild the structural section of that roadway and be more efficient with taxpayer dollars. Anthony Silva, and I work for Granite Rock. This project is at State Route Highway 1. This project goes from the San Mateo County line, 10.6 miles, traveling north. This is a, a Granite Rock One Company project. So it's all encompassing granite rock capabilities. We have two mills that we're running out front of our operation and the task is to improve the rideability of the road. Uh, so what they're doing essentially is taking out any bumps or, or big dips. Then we come through with our cold in place recycling machine and we are rehabilitating three inches of the in place material. Uh, we're utilizing everything that has been there for the last 30 years that the state has already spent taxpayer dollars on, so there's a very uh, a positive uh, rate of return for materials. Then we have our standard paving operation laying down this new treated material, and we are excited to be able to showcase this construction method to the state. So Caltrans has been utilizing and looking at in-place recycling technologies for quite some time now. They've utilized this CIR process in the past. What's unique about this project is that it's the first time in since like early 2000s that we've used a single unit recycling machine with foamed asphalt as the binding agent. It's been a long time in the works with Caltrans Pavement Materials Partnering Committee and we've worked to develop these specifications with other industry members and, and headquarters Caltrans people that are dedicated towards finding new ways to reuse and recycle pavements. We're pushing the envelope of what we've done in previous years and so it's really exciting stuff. There's more traction than ever before within the state of California to find new ways to recycle pavements and that's just a really exciting time. Mark Stahl, Work in America. I'm Director of Recycling Products. Granite Rock has been a great partner with ours. They've been in the recycling business for some time. So out front, you have a Stroymaster cement spreader. It is uh, the unit that is putting down a precise pre-spread cement amount of 1%. Immediately proceeds the recycler. And then we have the 3800CR. It's a uh, cold in place recycler that is pushing a water tanker and a bitumen tanker. It's injecting those materials into the drum and it is downsizing the in-place material on the road. Some organizations that are really supporting the recycling of pavements are FHWA and ERA. And these are organizations that are promoting the benefits to the road owner, but they're also giving support to contractors that are doing this process. In the next transportation bill, a lot of the federal funding that comes down to the state DOT level are gonna have some parameters built around that funding. So you might see a percentage of green initiatives on every project where they use federal funding. I think that's where the benefit to the road owner to use this process from a federal standpoint is gonna come in. By using cold in place recycling to rehabilitate the pavement section, what we're able to do is reduce trucking to and from the closest hot plant, which is, if we calc it out the other way, it would be about a three hour round trip for one truck. And the amount of volume we're doing out here per day is about two miles. So we're talking about hundreds of truckloads being reduced off of this one single project, which equals less greenhouse gas emissions being emitted by those trucks. So when we're looking at the traveling public impact or overall construction exposure, even from like a safety standpoint, we're reducing all those by a drastic amount. And, and in my book, that's a, it's a huge win.